So by now you guys know that the Trading 2 on 2 app is probably my favorite investing app out there. And it seems like every single time I'm on it, I find a new feature here and there. And for anyone who's new to Trading 2 on 2 or even has been using it for years, you might not even know that these features exist. So in this video, I'm gonna go through the new update on Trading 2 on 2 as there seems to be so many different little changes. And I'm going to show you these features and whether or not I actually like them compared to the previous update. So here is my Trading 2 on 2 Invest account. I might go into my ISA account later just to show you a few other features, but most of them will be available in the Invest account as well as the ISA. Now, the first thing to note, which might not necessarily be an update that you get via the App Store or Google Play Store, is the fact that Trading 2 on 2 has gone ahead and increased interest rates once more, once again. It feels like the 20th time they're doing that. The central bank rates are 5%, but Trading 2 on 2 is giving you an annual equivalent rate of 5.13% on your uninvested cash. As you can see in my Trading 2 on 2 Invest account, I have £1,042 in free cash, which I'm using to daily invest into the S&P 500. But in either case, as you can see, I'm getting around 14 pence and this is paid out daily. You do have to bear in mind that if you do want to opt into this extra higher rate of interest, the 5.13%, you do have to realize that your money will be put into qualifying money market funds, which carries slightly, I would say, higher level of risk compared to something you might get from a bank or the cash ISA from Trading212. Now, if you would like to sign up to Trading212 and receive a free fractional share worth up to £100, you can either click the link in the description down below. Alternatively, if you've signed up to Trading212 in the past 10 days and haven't received a free share, all you have to do is click the three horizontal line menu over here, scroll all the way down until you see the use promo code section, and then enter the code JUB. AIR. So the first thing that I noticed from this update is that the visuals are slightly different. You can see that for some reason this line is thicker than usual. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just, you know, picking that up for no reason. But I feel like, you know, this graph here has changed. Now Trading212 still goes with their old way of, you know, measuring the return on investments, which is to give you a return value here, as you can see, £349 in the green. That corresponds to the amount that you've put in. So how much your portfolio has gone up by it doesn't take into consideration how much you hold in cash or anything like that. So as you can see, my portfolio goes all over the place as I sell and buy holdings. You can see sometimes it's under £2,000 and the return still stays at £240. You can see that as a 20% positive gain. And then you can see here as the graph changes, the gain also changes in terms of percentage. You can see the return here is £137 in the green, but only 0.74%. Because what it does is your portfolio is essentially the sum total of all your liquid investments and nothing else, including cash. Either way, I do feel like there is a font difference here, which actually makes it a bit clearer and the lines are a bit thicker, so that's nice. So the biggest change visually in this update, or in my opinion anyway, is if we scroll all the way down, you can see that there is a new section here called Asset Allocation, which graphically shows you your positions in your portfolio. Now, my biggest holding is in the S&P 500. That's why it's a huge green block here. I can click into it and it shows my biggest holding here, the iShares Core S&P 500. And as you can see, I have around 18,000 pounds in here. And all my other holdings in comparison are very, very, very small. You can see there are very small squares here. You can see Lloyd's here, Rolls Royce, Amazon, PayPal, and the IUSA. If I had just sold out of this, then everything will be in bigger blocks. But because relatively my S&P 500 holding is just so much bigger than the rest, this gives you a very easy visual representation of your portfolio, which can be very useful. Now, if you click the three dot button here, it shows you all your assets that you hold. Here it says all assets and then 33. Again, you can see next to your holdings, there is a ring, which is essentially a pie diagram that shows you the proportions of those assets in terms of your investments and the full ring makes a full circle with all of your investments. Now, if I switch to my stocks and shares ISA, you can see everything is a bit different here. The allocation is a lot more even between the FWRG and the GSPX. So the more holdings that you have in your portfolio, these will come up as little squares. Essentially, this creates a heat map of all of your investments, which I'm all for. It looks really nice. 
can't argue about that. Now, one feature that Trading212 has removed here is under investments, there used to be two tabs, one called investments and one called pies, which easily allowed you to differentiate between individual investments and investments within pies. Unfortunately, that is gone. However, you can bring that back up by pressing this button here, which actually looks like a sort menu. And then you can unselect manual investments here. And then you'll just be shown your pies. As you can see, I only have one pie now. So it's quite easy to get that feature back by doing this, although this is an extra step and some people I understand do not like this feature. I personally did like the old feature, but I guess it's not too far away here. Now, the next big thing that Trading212 have done in this update, finally, they allow us to actually sort out our investments in the way we want it to before it was only sorted out alphabetically. As you can see here, this is all alphabetical, which actually doesn't make any sense to me why you would want to sort your investments out alphabetically. Maybe if you are a serial investor who invests in thousands of companies for some reason, you might want some sort of category with alphabetical sorting, but not me. I was just talking about this in another video. I wish they could sort it out by value and now they have here. All you have to do is press the button near the magnifying glass, which looks like a filter button. And then where it says order, you can go into value. And over here, now my investments are sorted out by value. So now I can go from high to low, which is really, really useful because, you know, some of my holdings are only one pound worth and I didn't really know why they were sorted out alphabetically. So through this menu, you can now see that my holdings are from highest to lowest in terms of value, the iShares Core S&P 500. Lloyds Banking Group, so on and so forth. You can also sort out your investments by gain and loss here. Essentially, this shows you your top earners at the top. As you can see, Rolls Royce here is up by 238% and that has returned me 130 pounds. So it does sort this out not by percentage amount, but by the amount in pounds that has earned you the most. For example, Rolls Royce at the top, Nvidia, Amazon. So now you can differentiate your portfolio between the ones that are in red and the ones that are green. So now portfolio updates will look a lot different on YouTube. It's also worth mentioning that your pies now show up as like an investment. Again, if you want to exclude pies from this, you can deselect it from this menu over here. So another thing that I've noticed hidden deep inside investments tabs. So if you go into any investments, let's go into Rolls Royce, for example, we've known for a while that you can be shown all these details here. For example, your return, average price, current price, even news feed relating to your specific stock. There's also a socials tab here, which shows you links to the community feature where people post their own stuff, kind of like Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it. There's also pricing alerts that you can actually put for your stocks, but this has been there for a while. The new thing here if you scroll all the way down is the breakdown of the companies in terms of their total revenue gross profit and operating profits as you can see for Rolls Royce for example 2020 to 2023 you can see all of these metrics and they're really nicely graphically shown here you can change also from annual to quarterly here and it's just a quick way of visualizing some of the key metrics that investors might want to consider before actually diving deep into a company remember this video and any of my videos on this channel, I by no means financial advice. I will never tell you what stock to invest in. Nothing like that. If there are any other features that I've missed out in this new update, let me know in the comments down below and make sure to check out some of my other videos and I'll see you in the next video.